Every generation of Pokemon games introduces new Pokemon, obviously. But among those new Pokemon, they usually introduce new Route 1 Pokemon, which are usually a Route 1 Rodent, which is uh, usually a two-stage normal type, and a Route 1 Flying type, which is usually, most of the time, a three-stage flying type. Gen 1, of course, having the Rattata line and the Pidgey line, Gen 2 having the Sentret and Hootoot line, and Gen 3 having the Zigzagoon and Talo line, and etc. And since I am making my own Pokemon region, I need my own Route 1 Normal type and Route 1 Bird. So let's get into it. So for my Route 1 Normal type Rodent, I'm making a Naked Mole Rat. And I know Naked Mole Rats don't live in America, I just think that it's neat. And that we don't have a Naked Mole Rat Pokemon yet, and like, there's already a rat Pokemon and there's already a squirrel Pokemon. There's, I don't I didn't know what else other rodent there was other than a naked mole rat, so I just went with this. Anyways, he's he's pretty cool. I I actually really like this one. I think you guys are gonna think he's like terribly ugly, but I actually really think he's adorable. Mulpin, the hairless Pokemon. They tend to spend their days hiding underground, and only come up during nighttime. They have acquired this nocturnal behavior because when people see them, they are disgusted by how ugly they are. So to keep their self-esteem intact, they go about their business during the night. Mulpin waddle around all night and usually gnaw on power lines or bother other sleeping Pokemon. So the evolution of Mulpin. He's like a- he's a mole, so he digs, like moles do, so he's got a minor aesthetic, like he- he digs, and he's got a beard because he digs, because he's a miner, and he's got a shovel because he digs because he's a miner, he's got a pickaxe and overalls, because he's like a miner, and he's got a little- little hard hat with a little light on it, because he's a miner. So, we have a problem. One- there is already a mole Pokemon that digs, and, like, that's too money. So, I didn't want to make another one, because that's just unoriginal, and the design is worse than the actual one anyways. So, we're gonna redesign the evolution into something much more interesting. So now for Mulpin's actual evolution, and since a mole rat usually digs, and I didn't have any other idea of what to make it. I just decided to make like this beastly like mole rat creature. And I didn't know, I just, I did not know what, like if there was going to be an element design to it, like I did with my starters where they were all like based off of something. But it ended up like, the, the design started coming along as I con t continued to draw it, and it just ended up becoming like a Frankenstein lab rat monster. And I think this is one of my best uh, Pokemon for my region so far. A Malgrat, the lab rat Pokemon. In the past, it looked much different. Many years ago, scientists experimented on it, and how it looks and acts now is the result. Studies have found it shares identical DNA from other Pokemon such as Raticate, Excadrill, and Obstagoon. It stalks the night looking for food, 
which usually ends up being trash. You know what's a cool animal that I literally just found out exists? The fruit dove. Now, it doesn't exactly live in America, or the West Coast, or like, anywhere near the West Coast at all. It lives in like, Africa or something. But, um, you know what grows in the West Coast, and specifically California, and like, all over California, and 95% of it comes from California? avocados and you know what avocados are good and this bird is cool and it's the fruit dove because like avocado is is it a f hang on let me do a quick look up real quick to see if an avocado is a fruit i just looked it up and avocado was a fruit so yes it is the fruit dove with an avocado on it and i think that's pretty neat because like it's an avocado and a bird and this is an avocado bird and that's cool. Avocado, the avocado Pokemon. They travel in large flocks and settle to nest in avocado trees. The avocado that grows on their head makes it hard to keep balance and even more difficult to fly. The avocado even makes them look more appetizing to predators. Avocado are aware of these downsides and yet they refuse to remove the avocado. Nobody knows why. Avocado's evolution. I don't know what you want to say here. It's just a bigger bird, avocado themed bird. He's got the pit on the pit of the avocado on his head. He's got like, uh, like a tortilla chip, uh, feathered tail. He's got like, I don't know. It's just a bigger avocado bird, bigger avocado bird. It's just a bigger avocado bird. And that's all it is. So enjoy that, I guess. Peelabill, the avocado Pokemon. It freaks out if the pit on top of its head goes missing. It avoids flying so that the pit doesn't fall off. Its feathers are edible and very nutritious. Many people and Pokemon eat Peelabill regularly, which is good because their population is overflowing and needs to be lowered. So, avocados are nice, but you know what's better? The final evolution- GET OUT OF MY ROOM I'M RECORDING! I'M RECORDING! GET OUT! Thank you. <clears throat> As I was saying, the final evolution of Avocado is based off of guacamole, and I think that is very neat because it has tortilla chip, and it's the perfect dip, and I think that a guacamole-like evolution is just perfect for an avocado Pokemon. It's just because- Guacamole is good. I like guacamole, you know, I don't eat it that often, but you know I probably would eat it more if I had like it in my fridge all the time But yeah guacamole is really good and if you don't like guacamole then Subscribe if you do like guacamole, then you should subscribe Squacamole the avocado Pokemon it is rarely seen flying because it prefers to walk everywhere most people keep it as a pet because of its edible feathers. If in danger, it can shed its feathers to be able to run away faster, leaving the feathers for the predator to eat. Even though it has an impish behavior and usually runs away, when backed into a corner, Squacamole can unleash a dangerous power. However, not many people have seen this strength, so it is mostly considered a myth. Now that you've seen my Route 1 Pokemon, which is your favorite? Tell me if you would use one on your team or not, and make sure you subscribe and like and comment and subscribe.